Tomatoes are one type of vegetable, with the highest level of use in various kinds of cooking. That's why various countries are competing to breed tomatoes. So, they can bear fruit all year round, and can meet consumer needs. This hydroponic tomato farm in the Netherlands, can grow 225 million tomato plants annually. Each greenhouse has an area equivalent to eight football fields. Let's visit this hydroponic tomato farm in a greenhouse and see the stages of the manufacturing process. Tomato plants can grow well, in controlled climates, and cannot tolerate extreme heat or cold. This greenhouse was built, to maintain a temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius, during the day, and 18 degrees Celsius at night. The planting medium used, does not use soil but rock wool foam, or sponge. However, this method has high fruit productivity, and can meet the entire city's needs. So, it is unsurprising that this technique is recognized, as the European standard for organic farming. This process starts when the tomato plants have passed their production period, and have been entirely harvested. Next, the workers will remove the supporting ropes, and cut the tomato stems from the planting medium. The worker then pulls the tomato plants into the crushing machine, and throws them into the organic waste bin. Next, the workers remove the equipment that supports the life of the tomato plants, from creeper hoses, to planting media such as rock wool foam. Workers will collect and remove them outside the building in preparation for new planting media. Before the new planting medium is brought in, the space will be cleaned with water and sterilized from possible diseases from previous plants. Then, workers took the stock of planting media from the warehouse to the greenhouse. They were greeted by several workers tasked with arranging the rock wool foam plates to be placed on top of the support bars. This new tomato plant will grow on top of it. This is then followed by installing creeper hoses into the foam used to pump nutrients into it. The greenhouse is ready to receive new tomato plant seeds in this condition. You need to know that hydroponic tomato farms like this usually buy tomato seeds from other farms and do not cultivate them themselves. The newly arrived tomato seedlings are usually around four weeks old. Farmers need around 250,000 tomato seeds in one planting process like this. Once these seeds are in this greenhouse, workers will immediately distribute them and place each tomato seedling in its place. These blocks with young tomato plants will be transplanted into slabs or rock wool foam where they will grow and absorb nutrients well. Tomato stems are oriented to develop vertically. The nutritional system is regulated by a computer. The recommended temperature for producing tomatoes is 25 degrees Celsius during the day and 18 degrees Celsius at night. Then, during the maintenance process, the workers will hang the tomato stems and trim some of the branches that are not in good condition. 
So, the plant will focus on providing nutrition to the premier branches that produce flowers. Next, after the plants start to flower, the workers will mark and hang the branches that have produced flowers. Then, to maximize the productivity of the tomato plants, workers will bring in livestock honey bees to help with the pollination process in the greenhouse. Workers will remove the last flower to bloom once pollination is successful and the flowers have become ovaries. Then, the activity ends with pruning several leaf stems, according to the criteria. The nutrients used in this greenhouse are phosphorus and potassium fertilizers suitable for application to horticultural plants. This fertilizer is in crystal form and dissolves very quickly in water. So, these nutrients will be easily distributed through the installed hoses. Finally, comes the harvesting process. This process will take quite a long time, because the tomatoes will not ripen at the same time. So, workers will harvest ripe tomatoes, or all the fruit is red. All tomatoes should be harvested by hand, as they have a soft texture, and bruise easily. Workers move along the plants on trolleys, and place the tomatoes into crates. You need to know, this farm can produce 2.5 million ripe tomatoes weekly. After the tomatoes are picked, the harvest will be carried by a driverless mini tractor. The tomatoes are then taken to be weighed and separated by quality before being packaged. Several workers get into positions in the production or packaging room. These tomatoes will undergo weighing, sorting, and eventually be packaged. In the sorting process, these tomatoes will have two different products according to their quality. Next, the packaged tomatoes will be loaded into refrigerated trucks and distributed to all supermarkets in the Netherlands.